and welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i've uploaded on here which is kind of becoming like a reoccurring thing i will upload one video and then next thing you know it's like 10 months later and i've just decided to come back we're in lockdown i have no uni work or anything so I might as well i'm just doing a little get ready with me so my current favorite primer is the too faced uh primed and peachy primer so good and it's so cooling as well how has everyone been uh, how is everyone coping in this lockdown because i was doing fine because i had uni work and everything and i was wasn't really thinking about what was going on but now i've had my final hand in which means year one is completed yeah <laughs> my mental health's just gone like hi bitch how are you and i'm like craziness what is going on right now to be honest i can't really get my head around everything that's happened i've left my house once and that was to go with my mum to take my grandma and granddad there shopping obviously standing two meters away revolution eyeshadow primer i've never tried this before if you don't already follow me on instagram go and check me out uh, it's at layla's beauty corner during april i had a makeup challenge going i had quite a few people uh join i have done some of them i still need to complete them all to be honest i'm not gonna lie mental health got in the way and i oh also my eye my eye decided to swell up i think i used a god off mascara it was beautiful honestly i have been currently using up the Too faced chocolate brownie eyebrow pencil i'm not a huge fan of this but i like more precise pencil so the concealer i'm using is the Too faced born this way if you couldn't already tell i quite like the Too faced product i need to clean so many brushes i'm not even kidding i have two pots full of makeup brushes that are dirty and there's one thing i actually really want to talk about i want to talk about something kind of serious that should be spoken about a lot more than it is and it wasn't until monday the 11th where i saw a post on facebook it was about pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome and this is something i have and i kind of just talk about in general how it should be spoken about more um, I will quickly read out what I wrote on the post. I said, I feel like this is so, so important and hardly anyone actually knows anything about it. I rarely heard anything about PCOS before I started having problems with my period while I was still in school. Sometimes I wouldn't have a period for a year. Other times I'd have non-stop periods that last months on end. It wasn't until late last year that I was diagnosed with PCOS as well as being pre-diabetic. I put weight on so quickly and it's so difficult to try and lose it. And the most heartbreaking part of this for me was the thought that I might not be able to have children when I'm older. I have since not had anything from my doctors for either my PCOS or to check on my pre-diabetes, just like I've not really had anything since I was in school. There's not enough done to support women who suffer from this. And that is so true. Since posting that on Facebook, I've had so many people message me saying that they are going through the same thing and they haven't felt supported at all by their doctors. I'm not on any medication at all for this. Um, they suggested that I go on this pill, which when I started taking it and I'd taken it for a while, I ended up having periods for like non-stop, like really, really heavy flow for a whole month. Anyways, um, I'm using the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. I haven't used this yet. But yeah, I just, I feel like there should be a norm of women talking about this. And I literally had not heard a single person say, oh, I've got PCOS or I've got some sort of ovarian illness. And the fact that we're not exactly being supported or anything through this is disgusting. I think I'm gonna use Mogul. I don't even know you say it. This straight right here. I will probably do another video on it at some point and kind of just talk about my experience with PCOS, how it still affects me now and what, sh what I think that should be done. Oh my gosh, I want to talk to you about my first year of uni. Oh my god, I've had the most amazing year. So for anyone who doesn't know, I go to the University for the Creative Art and I study makeup and hair design. I've met so many amazing people. I do on my memory card somewhere have my day in the life as a makeup and hair design student, which needs editing and I will try and get that done as soon as 
possible. I'm going to try. I can't promise. I honestly can't believe that my first year at uni is done. It's gone so quickly. And I think like coronavirus really hasn't helped that. And I just feel like I haven't had time. Like, oh my God, I had moved out so quickly. Actually, I started packing on the 22nd, like that evening. And then the 23rd I moved out because they were saying that they're going to do lockdown and I got really scared. <laughs> I still feel like I didn't have time to say goodbye to the girls who I was living with and it was so sad. It's just weird. I still find it weird being home. I am looking forward to uh, going back in September though. So I've already got a place. Um, luckily I was quite on it with finding a place for next year. So I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, I'm going to be living with Christina, Meek and Jennifer. I lived with Christina and Jennifer this past year and Meek is in my class. So yeah, I think I'm going to blend this pink fleet which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna put this onto the lid. I just want it as a base color. So it's just like a little pink hue. And then I wanna use Millions, which is this. It's like a pressed glitter. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. I, I see you. It's kind of pretty sparse, but I don't want it sparse. I want it hat the buck on. Oh my gosh, I'm actually obsessed. I'm just gonna go in with Mogul, the first color I used, and just try and concentrate the pigment a bit. Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. So I've been using F1 for so long, and then it just suddenly occurred to me that I'm more tan than I think I am. <laughs> so I got F3, which is a darker color. And I'm just going to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. The Too Faced Born This Way powder. I'm really obsessed with the Too Faced powders. Okay, let's do some contouring. This is like my old favourite Revolution Powder Contour in Fair. This is the Revolution Ultra Brun. Oh girl, she is, she's been used. Okay. Elf blush in twinkle pink. Oh my gosh, can I tell you one thing that I really miss? Nando's and Limmy fries, like really badly, even though I shouldn't have them because I'm lactose intolerant. Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Frost in Frozen Peach. Ugh. I just had a camera malfunction um, where both of my batteries died at the same time. But I've just done my under eye makeup, my mascara, and put some lashes on. I use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. The girls with Attitude lashes on, I think they're Lioness, I'm not too sure. And I'm going to use Jeffree because why the hell not? I'm going to go with Calabasas. So pretty. I'm just going to finish it off with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. But yeah, this is my final look. What do you think? Living, breathing and dying. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.